basically what I did let's use the select key and you will need to select something so I will select say from this piece here all the way up to here and glass is a little hard to select just because it doesn't detect it as well so I want to copy one of these platforms for example hit the clone button now give me a copy and I'm just gonna pull it out here so you guys can see it and what you can do is you can use your different keys and they're all on the left side here you can use uh, E to rotate which is basically turning it in place R will roll it along the side like a dog doing a roll um, F will flip it upside down and uh, G will mirror it and you can use a combination of these things to get whatever desired direction um, do note though for example let's just click place this for now you can also nudge it if you want and move it using your keyboard um, do note though if you can take a look inside so here these torches are placed correctly against the block uh, but if I were to rotate it I think this is will that screw it up uh, no um, for one of the ones that I did after I flipped it around there you go so what happened was that after flipping it around several times the torch uh, flipped itself over to the wrong side and uh, this is one of the reasons why you might need to go into game in order to fix some of the uh, torches just because the placement detection in uh, MC Edit is not precise uh, which is really unfortunate um, just like in Photoshop you have to confirm your action by hitting enter or hitting the button here and I'm just gonna not do that so I'm just gonna change my tool and that would get rid of that okay so selection brush clone we're gonna do fill and replace which is pretty simple and why don't we take this beautiful thing I didn't even realize he made it into 3d oh actually why don't I show you guys uh, some of you guys may have noticed we actually have a secondary um, facility all the way over here and you can see it when it renders and this is a straight huge clone of the original facility over there and um, to reduce lag and stuff I basically fill and replace pretty much everything with uh, solid stone uh, let's pick a room that I haven't done for example this is the cloning room I believe yes it is and so if I wanted to eliminate this cloning room and replace it with just a fact uh, simile of a cloning room I would just collect that and the key for fill and replace is number four and it'll tell me what I want to replace it with I can select whatever I want I'll just use stone stone sounds good and hit enter to complete the action and if you're doing this over and over again the keyboard shortcuts are actually pretty good so I'll go like that for enter enter and it's done um, yeah if you want to be able to select your key every time you can uh, right click on the thing to get the options and what that will do is it will ask you what you want to fill it with every time you do it so when I go up here and I hit 4 it will ask me what I want to fill it up with and in this case I'll have to hit enter twice instead of just once um, so that's basically that tool and I'm going to take that off because I like it without it because I tend to do fill and replace over and over again um, the filter is not bad you basically allows you to uh, filter out things um, if you use the replace key you can change for example all the stone in an area into bedrock which is something that um, builders might like to do and it's something that Merlinus uh, suggested is that build everything in cobblestone first and then when you go through your project at the end uh, for the final edit and MC edit you can just select all cobblestone and replace it with uh, bedrock in order to prevent people from tampering so I can replace all stone with air here if I wanted to I can change it all to wood planks if I wanted to um, but I'm not going to do any of that so I'm just going to change my tools to cancel that actually I have to get out of this menu first okay filter I don't actually use that often whoops I cloned it by accident let's use brush instead uh, filter I don't actually use that often so I'm not too familiar with it you can see I put a whole bunch of light stone and there's all that TNT that's used to blow up this area for our names to show up at the ending uh, spoiler alert by the way <laughs> okay 
Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go into the next thing. Uh, actually, we'll stay here in the fix it a million. That way, I won't screw up too much stuff. I am going to use the import now, and you can't see my. Uh, it pops up a browse window, and you can select a file to uh, import. And I'm just gonna grab a random one here. Uh, Murray's files. Everyone's favorite, the arrow room. So. Oops, I did not import that correctly. Let's take a look. Murray's files. Open. There you go. And here's the arrow room. And basically, um, what happened was that, let's just place it down. So this is the arrow room. Uh, here you go. Look familiar? Yes, I thought so. And I can place it however I like, and then I can nudge it into place and match the doors to wherever I like it to. And let's just cancel that action. Basically what happens is that you can use this, uh, use your selection key and it has an Im uh, export option and you can export it into a schematic f uh, file which is basically whatever you selected is now into a, uh, has been exported into a schematic and it really reduces your uh, rooms and your map stuff into tiny tiny chunks and anybody who is looking to help us out in hero block city will be exporting whatever they build into a, a schematic file and they'll send the schematic file which is a tiny tiny file and then we can reopen it and put it into the map however we like wherever we like and it's, it's an incredibly helpful tool and basically how uh, Merlinus 12 and I built uh, Escapecraft 3 was that each one of these little rooms was an individual schematic that we eventually brought into a single file and uh, connected up. Okay, now, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We are on to number seven, which is move player function. The move player function is pretty simple. So here's the player, he's over here. All I gotta do is go somewhere else and blop click the button and now move the player so he's here now and he's no longer at spawn and uh, so he's gone now basically Merlinus 12 used this one when he had to shift himself around to place signs this is the uh, the Indiana Jones dark room um, all these coal ores become super black tiles that you can't really see and if you ever watch my walkthrough I actually struggle climbing up this wall and what happened was I actually bumped my head on this repeatedly Anyways, uh, let's undo that. And oh yes, there is undo abilities here. You can see. Um, I can't undo player movement. That's strange. Strange. Very strange. I would just plant the little bugger back over here. Uh, that's close enough. Okay. The eighth one, eighth tool here, here is the move spawn point, and you can see the box over here. This is the spawn point. Oh, if you want mob spawners, by the way, you can do it with the brush or with the fill and replace. You just go spawner, and here it is, monster spawner. That's pretty simple. I can spawn monsters right on top. Uh, what we did find out is that spawners don't work unless you're 16 tiles within, 16 blocks within the area. Um, so you gotta make sure you place them close to the player. And the last one is chunk control. Uh, I won't go into that one because it's a little bit wonky and I've never actually used it so we'll just leave it there what's really great about this is that I can actually go to a point and we'll go to the little thing here at the end of the clone room and you have a go to nether which will load up the nether map of your area and of course the map areas don't correlate to each other at all uh, as you can see I gotta go scooting around here it is I actually built this by hand originally because I didn't realize we can go to nether now and fire text yes so that allows you to travel back and forth between nether and allows you to edit your nether as well if you like to have uh, repeated portal travelers which is not a bad idea for a game and where and it even helps the connecting rooms things even easier because all you gotta do is jump from portal to portal um, that's basically it I got something I wanted to fix on this map but since I already screwed around with it I'm kind of afraid of changing stuff uh, I was going to 
What was I going to do? It's easy to lose your bearings here. I was going to plug up this hole right here so that people stop climbing out. Let's just do it right now. Yeah, let's seal it with a mob spawner. Good idea. Boom, done. And so that way I didn't have to travel or anything to go there. Um, if you see any of these little stuff uh, around, that's probably because I needed a point to click in order to select the entire area. Like that. In order to export it, I didn't realize you can right click in order to hover your mouse in an area before. Um, building this, this is a checkpoint system. If you guys already played through the game before version 5, there was no checkpoint system, but now there is. This was basically done by cloning and placing uh, the same length piece over and over again. And then parts of this I built uh, individually using MC Edit, of course. Alright, uh, this is running a bit long, so I'll cut it off here. Thanks for watching. Uh, give a thumbs up if you guys like. Leave comments. I will answer your questions if you have them. And uh, let me know if you want to see anything else in tutorials or whatever. Okay, catch you guys next time.